Now then, thank you, thank you. OK, before the coffee break, we all enjoyed watching, and indeed reciting, Doctor Who and the Invasion of the Crazians. <laughs> and we have here today Mr Geoffrey Peters. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and he played, he played Corporal McAndrew, the security guard, and he appeared in several Doctor Who episodes, standing near the Doctor and the Brigadier, not knowing what was going on. And, uh, 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 Mr Peters has agreed kindly to take part in a question and answer session. Yes. What was it like to work with K9, please? Well, it was uh, pretty much like working with a normal dog, except a little less messy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so like a normal dog, but a little less messy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody else like to ask a question? Me, 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 yes. me, me, me. Yes. In the invasion of the Crazons, <laughs> when the Crazons are taking the doctor to the Crazon Palace to be interrogated. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, nothing. Sorry, do, do carry on. Yeah, so then there are five greys and guards with the Doctor, and four of them are wearing blue caps, but one of them is wearing a maroon-coloured cap. What is the reason for this, please? Yes, but it's really <laughs> often in television programmes because the, the costume designer simply ran out of material and hoped that no-one would notice. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if perhaps the maroon cap was being punished for some misdemeanor or transgression of the strict Crasian code, or perhaps he was a trainee Crasian. You're absolutely right. The, 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 the maroon one was being punished by the blue ones for the thingy that, that you said. Uh, okay. Now, anybody else like to... Me, 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 yes. me, me, yes. When the doctor used the crystal of Num Num to deflect the generator beam, how did he know that the resulting ionised particles would be lethal to the creations? Hmm? Well, well, how, how, how do you think he, he, he knew? Because he spotted the special particle deionising unit in the creation ship. <laughs> Absolutely right, the unit in the ship. Well done, very oh, good. Oh, right. <laughs> hmm. And now, is there... Me, 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 yeah, me, me. <laughs> Outside your front door, there's a pink rhododendron bush. Did you plant that or was it there when you moved in? In the front of the unit headquarters, you mean? No, outside your house at the 156 Blinkhorn Way. Now, look here, are you saying you've been to my house? Oh, 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 oh. Something's gone a bit wrong here. Mm. <laughs> We're supposed to be asking you the questions, not the other way round. <laughs> what bothered me about your house was the total lack of any military memorabilia whatsoever. Very strange for a career soldier, wouldn't you say, Corporal? But I'm not a soldier, I'm an actor. You see, Corporal McAndrew, I'm simply not sure the Doctor can trust you or the Brigadier. <laughs> I think we should keep you here as our prisoner until we can be sure that you are not going to try to harm the Doctor in any way. <laughs> You've got to get me out of here. I had no idea it was going like this. I thought I was going to get a free lunch. But you've got to admit she's got a point, hasn't she, Corporal McAndrew? Or should I say, trainee, crazy and overlord McAndrew? <laughs> 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 